Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome to our backtesting jam session for today. All right, so another day we are back here with our backtesting jam session. The purpose of these jam sessions is really to get connected with our price action, to understand how price action works, how the market moves, and what to expect. How do we recognize where things are, and how do we then take trades based on what the price action is telling us? So the strategy that we are testing here is um, actually we are at the very, very beginning of the strategy, where all we are looking for currently is the market direction. So once we know the market direction, it becomes easier to place trades. So one of the biggest challenge that I find most people struggle with is understanding where the price is going. So that's the first problem we are trying to tackle here, just understanding where the price is and how do we then use that, uh, that information that price is giving us in order to place trades. So we will be refining the strategy later down the road for now, all we are looking for is guessing the market direction that we have. Um, so if you are live with, uh, with me on the call, be ready and be ready to guess the market direction. So please uh, feel free to post your guesses in the comment section and as we go so you can play the game with me. All right, so what we are going to do today, or let's get started, I should say. Okay, so here we are looking at our pound US dollar chart, and we are here. So it looks like my, well, actually my um, computer did restart, so we are at a slightly different place in the chart, but don't worry, we will continue on. So it looks like there was some missing data here uh, for several months, but that's all right. We can still continue on here. All right, so let's take a look because uh, my computer is in or the charts in a different place now. So let's, uh, first of all, let's figure out where we are. Let's take inventory of where we are. If we zoom out a bit, as we can see, price had been trading in this area and over the month several months here it's gone up all the way back up there into the next level of support and resistance and now it's dropping we are back below this support and resistance level we have a bearish candle close here so let's see all right uh, julian says hello all right let's Let's be ready. Okay, so where do we expect the price to go next here? Any guesses? Uh, please feel free to uh, comment in the chat there. And if you're interested in playing the game, so we will do this together. So based on my analysis here, what I would look for, so Pritbal says it will go up. So what I'm looking for here is price to pull back into this previous support and resistance level, either right where that pin is into 1.5880 level, or at least into this sort of uh, support resistance, resistance area at 158.50. So I am looking for price to go up. My bias is bearish, but I am, I am looking for price to pull back up before it drops again. But overall bias is bearish. So um, both of you guys are right, Julian, as well as Prithal. I'm looking for a pullback and then a drop. Bias is to the downside. So let's see. Here, so we don't really get much of a pullback. We are into the next support and resistance area. So what do we expect from here? So for me personally here, I would still be looking for a pullback, see if you can get a pullback into that previous area there. 
uh, not quite. So overall bias still stays to the downside. So we're prices trying to push down here. But as we can see, the candles are getting smaller, which means price is losing momentum at this um, at this point. So we could still get that pullback. But if price starts to trade into this level here below in this area, then we could keep um, we could see the price come down. So let's take a look. There we go. Didn't do much of a pullback, just broke right through here. And we have a big bearish candle close here. So what do we expect after this? Any guesses? Okay, so here I would look for price to pull back and then do another drop. My bias is to the downside. And uh, however, I'm looking for price to pull back. That's a pretty big candle. So I'm looking for a bit of a pullback and then a further drop. So let's see if that happens. Uh, we got a pullback. So not, not quite where I was expecting, slightly lower. So we got a pullback right there into this support and resistance level. So now we have uh, seen another drop. Now, what do we expect from here? Where do we expect the price to go? Any guesses? Hey, I would be looking for price to drop further. I like this candlestick, it's the pin bar. So I'm looking for price to drop further into the next support and resistance area um, right into the bottom here or potentially even lower. So my bias is to the downside here. Julian says to the downside, yep. Um, okay, so it goes down and actually went down into the last support and resistance level we had marked and then it pushes back up. And what are we expecting now? What's the next move here? And again, the reason we are going through this exercise is because we're looking for price to, uh, or we are looking uh, to ingrain these price behaviors into our brain so that when we see this under live market conditions, we can actually figure out where the market is likely to go and we can take those trades. So here we have a bullish pin bar. So right now I'm looking for price to pull back into this previous support and resistance area. Overall bias still stays to the downside. Just looking for, uh, for a pullback here because we have seen multiple days of drop here. So it makes sense for price to retrace a bit here. So looking for it to pull back and then drop from there. So let's see. So there we are into the next level of support and resistance area. We have a bit of a, a pin on the top, but we have a bullish candle close. So what are we expecting? What do we, where do we go from here? What are we looking for? So as far as my analysis, now we are at an interesting level. So price has dropped quite a bit. So we could go into the next support and resistance area, but when price is at this level like this, generally uh, what I want to see is under live market conditions, I would go into a smaller time frame and I would look for the reaction at this level. So I would, let's say, go to an hour time frame or a 15 minute time frame, and I would see what price is doing here. And when price, um, if price closes below this level, then I'd be looking for price to come back down all the way. And if it closes higher, then I'm looking for price to go into, um, into the next support and resistance level. So this is why going into a smaller time frame will be important, but overall the price, price is still a bearish here and we just need to see whether this is going to pull back further or is it going to react here. So let's take a look. So price uh, tries to break through, doesn't happen and then we have price trying to make a low and now we have a completely neutral candle close. So what do we expect from here? Now we have price that are the candle that's showing us pins on both sides. So this is this type of a candle is called indecision candle or a spinning top.
because we have pins on both sides. So indecision candle, when we see that, we really don't know where the price is gonna go. The bias in this case would be neutral. And I'm looking to see what the price will do. So right now, my what I would look for would be potentially price could go into the same support and resistance level again. And this is where I would look for a potential short because overall the bias is still to the downside. So my bias would be to the downside. So let's take a look. Okay, so it breaks right through. So now we have seen price close up higher. And this is why going into a, time, a smaller time frame is important because smaller time frame would show us if the price is breaking to the upside and uh, the daily wouldn't show us that. So now we have a big bullish candle close here. We have gone above the previous support and resistance area. Where are we expecting the price to go now? Any thoughts on where it may go? Okay, so my bias would be that, uh, so now the bias is bullish, yeah. So correct, so what I would be looking for here is a bit of a pullback and then a further move to the upside. So bias has now turned or shifted from bearish to bullish. So let's take a look. Okay, so we have a pullback. It came a little bit lower into the previous, into the next level of support and resistance. It's still holding up. So what we need to see now is a candle close to the upside. So let's take a look. Here we go, Our price pushes up, but now we haven't quite been able to get to the next level here. So we do have a bullish candle close, but we have a pin on top. So what do we, what can we expect from here? So this type of uh, candle, I treat this as a neutral candle, especially on the daily time frame here, because a price could um, could go and test the level once again. So what I would be looking for would be for price to go high into the top here and see if it will come back down from there. So now we have had price drop, it has pulled back, and now um, do we get a continuation move to the downside? And the best place to look for a potential short would be at the top of this candle, at the support and resistance level. So if this these were the real charts, I would be going into smaller time frame and I'd be looking for price reaction in this area. If it closes below, then we are looking for that move to the downside and it could be beginning of that move or if it closes higher, then we're looking for price to go into the next level here. So let's take a look. There we go. So price goes up, pulls back and then closes up high. So now we have uh, more bullishness here. So what are we expecting from price here? So in this case, my bias would be to the upside, but we have um, resistance here. So we do need to mind, be mindful of the resistance. So I'd be looking for looking to see if the price will push up higher here. So it goes and tests that level, but then closes low once again. So we have a similar candle close here where price is rejecting this level. It's the third time that it hasn't been able to close above. So what do we do now? So again, in my opinion, the best place for a potential short would be at this level here. So um, I would look for price to push up higher, but overall now my bias would be slightly more to the downside because we haven't been able to break the high. So chances are it could drop from here. But if the price were to close with a bullish candle here, then I will be looking for price to continue up higher. So this is where uh, going into that smaller time frame will be important to see how price reacts at this level. So let's take a look. Okay, so it is making lower high, uh, sorry, higher lows and higher highs, but not really pushing up too much. So 
one of two scenarios here could happen here. One would be that price just closes up higher because it is pushing up higher. So it just closes up higher and takes off or we get a big bearish candle close, engulfing candle, uh, bearish engulfing candle close and price drop. So let's take a look. This will be one of those days where I would just wait for the next day to trade now because for three days price hasn't been able to close above this uh, level. So we really need to see a bullish close for it to continue higher or a bearish close for it to go down. So this will be a day where I would go to a different chart and look at something else. So here we go. So now we have finally been able to break above these previous highs. What do we expect the price to do now? Any thoughts on that? Okay, so my bias here would be to the upside. I'm looking for a price to continue up higher. So let's see if we can see the move higher. Julian says looking for a move higher as well. So let's take a look. Fritball says up as well. Let's take a look. And Sanjin says uh, a break above to the upside. Uh, so I am with you guys as well. I'm looking for a further move to the upside. And now we are into that resistance, but I am looking for move to the upside. We have a bigger candle close. We have a pin on the downside, smaller pin on the upside. All of this suggests a potential move higher. So my bias will be up. So we didn't really get that, got stuck at the next support and resistance level. So it did move higher, but it could not hold above the high. Now we have a bearish candle close. What do we expect here now? Hey, okay, any thoughts on what the next move uh, would be? So where, what's the market direction that we are looking at? Okay, rejection. Um, yeah, I see this as a rejection candle. So this is a, a bearish engulfing candle. So Julian says down, Pritbal says down. Yep, you guys, I am with you on this as well. So I'm looking for price to drop from here because it's a bearish engulfing candle. I would be looking for price to continue lower. So now we have seen this move to the downside. We have seen a retracement and now I'm looking for a continuation to the downside. So my bias is to the downside. Here we go, and there's our move, right? So when we generally look at our moves, the way this happens is it'll drop, pull back, drop. So now we have a bearish candle close, a big bearish candle close. What are we expecting from here? What do we look for? Okay, so down my bias is still to the downside. Um, we could get a pullback because it is a large candle. So we could get a pullback, uh, but I'm looking for price to drop. So my bias still stays to the downside. So let's take a look. Okay, so we pull back. We could pull back higher actually all the way up here. Okay, not quite. So we are dropping, that's good. And now what do we expect? So my bias here would still be to the downside, but we are into support. So this is where price had moved up before or pushed up here before. But now I like this candle close better than this candle close. So this was our bullish pin bar. And as we can see, price had continued higher. Now we have a bearish pin bar. And Julian says we are looking for down movement. Pritpal says down as well. So let's take a look. Okay, so it pulls back a little bit and then it's putting pressure into it. We still haven't cleared the bottom here. So let's take a look. Here we go. So now we have two pins to the upside. So we have a bearish pin bar here and Sundin says looking for a break to the downside. Um, yeah, I will look for price to drop further from here as well. So let's take a look. Here we go, price drops further. We have a bearish candle close. What are we looking for now? Okay, so here my bias stays to the downside. 
um, and I'm looking for price to drop further. So let's take a look, pull back a bit, still looking for a drop. My bias is to the downside. So I'm looking for price to come into this 153.20 level. Okay, Propel says down. Let's see. We have a little candle close here. It's bearish, so still looking for bearish drops and then pulls back. So it looks like we are finding support right into that level. So let's zoom out a bit. And uh, it's a good idea. I highly recommend zooming out because sometimes we get too tunnel visioned into what we are doing into our immediate um, environment. So we always need to or it's a good idea to zoom out on your chart to see where we are in the grand scheme of things. So here um, we have seen price react at this le these levels before. So we have a, a bullish candle close. It's not a huge candle, uh, but regardless, it is bullish. So what do we expect the price to do here? What are we looking for? Okay, so for me here, my bias, um, I would be looking for price to pull back into this level, 1.5490, or it could go um, a little higher here as well. But overall, um, the bias still stays to the downside, but immediate um, response here that I'm looking for would be a move slightly to the upside. So let's take a look. So it goes up into instead of this pin it goes into this pin so pulls back and then we have a bearish engulfing candle close and what do we do from here so where do we expect the market to go from here so just a note here um, sometimes you'll see that the direction that you'd be looking for would be up but the candle closes to the downside that's still a good a uh, good tradable opportunity because you're looking for price to go higher. It did go higher. What you would have to pay attention to would be uh, closing out of your trade. So you're not looking for price to go all the way up. We're just looking for price to go into the next support and resistance area. So if it doesn't quite get to the profit target, we have to um, we have to be dynamic enough for it to for us to. Um, a role with the markets, what the market is giving us and close out the trade instead of taking a stop. So now uh, we have a bearish engulfing candle close here and the responses that I'm seeing are down, down, down. So everybody says we are gonna be going down and my bias will be to the downside as well. So let's take a look. Ooh, and we go all the way up. So we have, um, sideways move here we were into support um, as we can see it could not break below the support and this is also a price behavior that we tend to see from time to time especially when we have had a big move to the downside kind of like this price starts to go sideways and it will start to trade in a range so now we are at the top of the range we have a bullish candle close what do we expect here now What's our next move? So personally, uh, for me, so I see this as a range bound market. So Sanjin says range bound as well. I see this as a range bound market as well. And when we have a range bound market, um, what we have to trade is the extremes, the range. So we look for price to um, stay within the range um, so we can trade the range or we look for price to break out of the range, in which case we can go long or if it go breaks towards the bottom, then we can go short. So in this case, because we do have a bullish engulfing candle close here, we are at the top of the range. So uh, under live market conditions, Ali says we're looking for a price move up. Sanjin says looking for price move up. Pritbull says looking for a pullback. So what I would look for here is this is when um, it would be beneficial for us to go to a lower time frame, so a 15 or a one hour chart. And we look at the price action in this area because we have two things that we could do. One would be look for that breakout and take it to the next support and resistance level, or we look for price to close below 
and we are trading this back down again. So in this case, um, I would just drop down to a lower time frame, and the play that I would look for would be if the price closes above and holds above, I'm looking for a long. If the price turns around and closes below, then I'm looking for a short because um, right now this is not clear cut because the bullish candle here suggests that price is going to pull up higher. But because we are in this range, our range bound uh, trading would suggest a move to the bottom of the trade, bottom of the range, sorry. So let's take a look. Here we go. So this is why we want to um, look at a lower time frame because the lower time frame will show us this rejection and then we would look for price to drop. So now we are in the middle of the range. We have a bearish candle close. What are we looking for now? What next? Okay, so for me, I would be looking for, because we are right in the middle of the range, I'd be looking for price to go back towards the bottom of the range. And we're not trading the break of the range till we get a clear signal that price is holding on the other side, which we would get from a smaller time frame. So now here, looking for price to drop. Let's take a look. Okay, so it doesn't come towards the bottom of the range. So now we have price closing above. We went into the next support and resistance area. We have a bit of a pullback. What do we expect now? So here now, because we have broken to the upside, what I would look for is price to uh, price to pull back down. So I'm looking for price move to. Um, a little bit kind of like this price moves down and then move back up so um, overall the bias is to the upside but I'm looking for price to move down and then move up and it looks like everybody's saying up as well so let's take a look okay so we have that pullback and price has dropped right from there so so what I was looking for was a pullback and a hold above this support resistance level what we have is a, is a move back into our range. So when the price moves back into the range, then we don't have uh, much uh, bullishness left in, as much bullishness left. So now we are back into the range. What are we expecting the price to do? Okay, so I would be looking for, uh, for it to go down. So Pritbal says down. I'd be looking for it to go down towards the bottom of the range here. So let's take a look. Okay, it doesn't quite do that. So we're getting a lot of choppiness in the market, which happens after we have had a big move to the downside. So market is really, prices are, um, are pulling back. So now we have another bullish candle close, which engulfs the previous one. Now, what do we expect the price to do? So I would be looking for a price to do another test of the support and resistance level. And if the price holds above, then it could go higher. But overall, it is looking bullish. And, and I'd be looking for a lower time frame at this level here to see what price will give us. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is why we want to look at this uh, support resistance level because if price doesn't break to the upside, then a lot of times we can get these moves to the downside. So now we have chopped around in this area for quite some time. Now, what, what are we looking for now? What do we expect the price to do? Okay, so my bias here would be to the downside. I would be looking for price to uh, drop further down towards the bottom of the range here. So it hasn't been able to break above and we are making slightly lower highs. So now I'm looking for a price to drop back down into the bottom here. So let's take a look. Here we go. So now we have a nice a bearish candle close pin on the upside. Price closes right into the bottom of the candle. Now, what do we expect now?
Okay, my bias here would be to the downside. So I'm looking for a further move down back into the support resistance area. So my bias is to the downside. So let's take a look. Okay, it drops a bit, but doesn't quite come all the way down. So we are getting choppy moves. And this is when we want to go find a different pair to trade, which has more of these trending moves, because right now we're just chopping back and forth here. What we do have here is we have price making lower highs, but it's not able to really um, do much. It's not dropping very much. So where do we expect the price to go from here? So for me here, so there are two options here. So we do have a bullish candle close, which means price could go higher. So I would be looking for price to go and test the resistance level once again. But there is other option, which means, which is that it doesn't go above this support resistance level. So let's take a look. I have uh, Julian Pritpal saying down. Um, yes, I would, uh, Ali says, look at smaller time frame. To confirm, I would look at smaller time frame for sure because it depends on how price reacts at the high of this candle. If it breaks the high, then we are looking for the next level. Otherwise, it could turn around because the market's really, really choppy right now. So here we are. It uh, pushes back up, it pulls back, and then pushes up higher. So what are we looking for at this point? So for me, I would be looking for price to uh, go higher back into this resistance area. So let's take a look. Okay, it pulls back into our support and resistance area, then pushes up higher. Now, what do we expect? So for me, I would look for price to retest the high once again right there and see if it can do that. Okay, and actually it breaks above. So that bullish move. So now we have a bullish engulfing candle close here and a very bullish candle. So what do we expect from here? Where do we expect the price to go next? Okay, so I would say up, my bias would be to the upside, but again, because we do have a big candle close here, we could see pullback and then a further move to the upside. Julian, Ali, everybody saying up, Ritbal saying pullback. Yeah, I would be looking for a pullback and then a move higher. Let's take a look. Okay, so it pulls back a bit, not a huge pullback. So there's momentum still. Now we have a big uh, bullish candle close. Where do we expect the price to go to? Okay, so I'd be looking for, because this is a big uh, bullish candle close, I will be looking for price to pull back and then retest the high. That's right. Sanjin, I'm with you on that. I'm looking for price to pull back and then go up higher. So let's take a look. Here we are pushing into the resistance, but now the candles are getting smaller. So what are we looking for here now? Okay, so here I will look to see how price is going to react at this next support and resistance level. It has been pushing towards it, but now since we are almost at resistance, it could hit the resistance and turn around. So let's take a look. Okay, so it tries to break through, but doesn't quite close above our resistance level. So we do have a pin um, on the top and we have a pin in the bottom, a green candle body close here. So what do we expect? Okay, so here I would be looking for price to a couple of different options. Here we're going to have to see how price reacts. If the price closes above this level here, then it could continue higher or we could get a bearish candle close. So this is where we'll have to go to a smaller time frame and take a look. So here, because there is pin on the top, so I'd be looking for 
some sort of um, uh, pullback here to looking for it to drop and if it closes higher than the next day our bias will shift let's take a look okay so we do have a uh, candle close higher it's actually gone into the next support and resistance almost into the next support and resistance area here so now we have a bullish candle close but we have a large pin bar here as well so what do we expect the price to do For me here, I would be looking for price to retest the high here and then see what happens because we could see price go into, um, into the highs here. So I'm looking for price to go up higher, retest, and then uh, we'll have to see how it closes. So right now, looking for up move. Okay, so we do get the up move, but as we notice here, the candle's getting smaller, the body's smaller, the pin's smaller. So overall, it's getting... Um, it's getting smaller. So we're losing this momentum, the upside momentum that the price had. So we're losing that momentum. Where do we expect price to go from here? And um, for me, I would be looking for price to go up, test the high, and then potentially drop, but it could go into the next level here. So be mindful of that. Okay, so here we are close back a bit and then drop. So now we have a bearish candle close. What do we expect next? Okay, so it says possible re, uh, reversal. I agree with that. We could get a uh, further move to the downside. What I don't like too much is this pin in the bottom. So when we are looking for price move to the downside, I, want, I like to see pins on top because that will show rejection. Um, but we have this uh, bearish candle, but we have a large pin as well, which makes it kind of neutral. So now we need to see a close below the support and resistance level to see the price continue to the downside. So it doesn't quite do that. It holds above the support resistance level and we get a bullish engulfing candle close. So what do we expect now? Okay, so I will be looking for price to go higher into the next support and resistance level. The bias is bullish, so let's take a look. We are, didn't really do much, just pulled back and then held up. So I'm still looking for price to go higher into the next support and resistance. And we get stuck right here. Okay, so it doesn't quite do that. We are stuck at this support and resistance level. And now we have a bearish engulfing candle close. What are we looking for next? So in this case, I would be looking for a bit of a pullback and then for price to drop further. So Sanjin says reversal, I agree. So looking for a pullback and then looking for it to drop further. Julian says uh, down. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have a pullback. Now I'm still looking for price to drop. Let's see if that happens. Okay, we have an indecision candle. Um, so it says pull back and drop. That's what I'm looking for as well. Looking for price to drop here. Let's take a look. Here we go. Price drops. Now what are we looking for? Um, it's just a note here. Sometimes, so when we are looking for pullbacks and stuff, sometimes it can... Um, it can take more than a day for that pullback to really play out. And that's why uh, we see this type of a price behavior, price pulls up and then goes higher and then it drops. So um, now what do we expect? For me, I would be looking for price to drop further here. So we do have a bearish candle close. I'm looking for price to drop further back into this previous support and resistance area here. Um, and then if it breaks through, then looking for it to drop further even more back into this uh, next area. So my bias is to the downside. Let's take a look. Okay, it drops into the bottom and then we have a big bullish candle close. So 
didn't quite make it down. So now we have a big bullish candle close. What do we expect it to do now? Okay, so for me here, I would be, this is interesting. So now we are at the top of that. Uh, we have a bit of a, a sideways move here, bit of a range bound move. Price has been going back and forth between the these White two House levels. The report on North Korea. They are to review what North Korea said independently. And now that we are now that we have a big bullish candle close, because we are into resistance, we'll have to be careful. So again, this is where we go to a smaller time frame and look at the price reaction at this level. So if the price holds above this level, 1.6023 level, then looking for price to go up higher all the way into the high potentially. If not, looking for price to come back into the bottom of the range. So let's take a look. Okay, so uh, this was bullish looking for, uh, so now price has gone up. Now, what do we expect? Okay, so I would be looking for price to go and test the high. We're very close to it, haven't quite hit it. So I'd be looking for price to retest that level. And then we are, uh, we are at a good level. It could go higher, but we'll be at a good level. Okay, so right now I'm looking for a bit of a pullback and then price to push up higher. Okay, there we go. Price pushes up higher. Didn't really get much of a pullback, just kind of continued on. Now, what do we expect? Okay, so for me, we are looking at, uh, so we have a bullish candle close. Uh, we are just above the previous high. I will be looking for a bit of a pullback and then looking for price to go higher. Okay, so it goes higher and then drops. So it doesn't quite stay below or hold below. Um, it goes higher, comes back down. So now we have a bearish engulfing candle close here and we have pin on the top. So where do we expect the price to go from here? Okay. My bias would be to the downside here. So as long as price holds below this previous support resistance level here, I'm looking for it to go lower. However, it can pull back, so it can go back here and then drop further. But my bias is to the downside. So Sanjin and Julian says down, Prithal says down. So let's take a look. Okay, here we are. Price pulls down, comes almost into that support level here. So what do we expect now? So my bias here will be to the downside. So I'm still looking for price to come back and test the low here once again, and then see how it goes. So right now I'm just looking for a drop. Okay, don't quite get the drop, just test the high. I'm still looking for a drop, let's see. Okay, so here's our drop. So we have a bearish candle close. What do we expect next? So for me, I will be looking for price to move lower still. So let's take a look. Okay, it, it just holds above here, above this previous support and resistance area. So what do we expect now? So what I see here is the price holding above the support level. So as long as price holds above the support level, it can go higher. So this is where I would look for price action in this area, because if it's the, if it holds above, then it could go higher. But if it closes below this, we'll be looking for a move to the downside. So let's take a look. Okay, so it dropped, pulled back, and then we have a perfect doji here. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so now we get a bearish candle close. Where do we expect the price to go next? Okay, so for me, I will look for a price to go further down. Look at this one, to 
come into that next support and resistance level. So let's take a look. Okay, so it pulls back a little bit, um, but I still see bearishness in this because if you take a look at it, price is holding that trend line. If you were to draw a trend line here, price is still holding that level. So I would look for price to drop further. Let's take a look. Okay, it doesn't do that. It holds above here, and now we have a bullish candle again. What do we expect? For me here, because this is a bullish candle close, I would look for price to go higher. So let's take a look into the, into the high here. Okay, so it goes up slightly higher and then it's just going sideways. So we are in the sideways consolidation that we've been sitting at for a number of days. Um, so we'll just have to see um, what the price does. So here with the way the candle is sitting, it is not clear market direction. We do have price moving high, making higher highs, but then we also have uh, price pulling back. So in this case, I would, um, again, I would look for price to test the highs. If it holds above the highs, then I'm looking for price to move up further. Otherwise, if we drop back into this level second time around, then I'll be looking for price to drop. Okay, so now we have a bullish engulfing candle close. Any guesses on where we could see the price going next? So my bias here would be price moving up towards the top of the range. Sanjin Pratpal, Julian said they will, it will be moving up. So I'm looking for price to go higher into the top of that range there. Let's take a look. Here we go. Price is back into the highs once again. Okay, so where to from here? Now we are into the resistance level once again. Price has been making um, higher lows. It's been making higher highs. So we do have that uptrend going on and we are into the high of the range. Where do we go from here? Okay. So for me, I would be, uh, this is where I would drop to a lower time frame, and I'd be looking to see what price does in this area. If it closes above, I'm looking for it to continue higher. A lot of times here, price could churn as well. So let's take a look. Okay, not quite the break just yet. Let's see. Here we go. Price drops. So we have a bearish candle close. What do we expect from here? Okay, so I'd be looking for, this is interesting because we are back into the range. So because we are into the middle of the range, I'm looking for price to drop. However, what could happen is if price stays above this level, see this previous support resistance here, and then we could see price go higher still. So let's take a look. Here we go. Price has pulled back, didn't even quite test the support level here. So what do we expect? price to do from here. Okay, so for me personally, I'd be looking for price to try and, trying to break this level. So let's take a look. Okay, not quite. Brit Paul, Julian, um, you guys were correct. All right, what do we expect now? So we are back and forth, very, very choppy all over the place. I would be looking for price to drop. So let's see if we get that. Okay, so we do see a drop, but then the price gets stuck over here once again. So as we can see for a number of days now, almost three weeks we have been trading in this range. So we do have a bearish candle close and we have a pin in the bottom. So where do we expect price to go? Okay, Brett Bob says up. So here, what I would be looking for is price to come retest the low once again, and then potentially close up higher. Let's take a look. There we go. Didn't quite make it all the way to the bottom, pulled back a tiny bit, and now we have a bullish candle close. 
All right, so I think we will wrap it up here and we will pick it up again tomorrow. Okay, so we'll call it a wrap right here. You guys have a wonderful evening and I will see you again tomorrow and we'll be back with another uh, back testing jam session here. So hopefully you guys are finding this useful. It's very, very important to um, get our eyes accustomed to seeing price action because even if we are wrong here, it doesn't matter because it will really help us um, when we are looking at live market conditions because it will be the same price action, similar behavior that we'll see on our light charts as well. So you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you for participating. Great participation. And I will see you again tomorrow. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.